UMS flow well. Performance under pressure. In the following animation, we will give an overview of the various plugs and accessory tools that can be used in conjunction with a UMS flow well Y tool system. As we travel down the well, we see the production tubing, cross coupling cable protector clamps, and ESP cable. Here we see the UMS flow well Y tool assembly, which includes a Y tool body, top nipple, bypass nipple, and telescopic swivel. Below the Y tool, we see the ESP system which consists of a discharge head, discharge pressure sub, pump, pump intake and seal protector. Below the seal protector we see the motor, gauge, motor base plug, and wireline entry guide. Traveling back up the well, we will now take a look inside the Y-Tool assembly. Located within the Y-Tool assembly, we can see a UMS flow well blanking plug and standing valve. Both the blanking plug and standing valve can be pre-installed within the Y-Tool assembly and run with the ESP completion. Alternatively, each can be run individually on Slickline after the ESP completion installation if required. The standing valve is a retrievable ball type check valve. It is seated in the top nipple above the Y-Tool and is designed to hold pressure from above only. It is an optional plug for testing the production tubing above the Y-Tool or setting a hydraulic packer. A pressure test against the standing valve is initiated to verify the integrity of the production tubing above the Y-Tool. With the pressure test complete, the standing valve is removed. The blanking plug is set in the bypass nipple of the Y-Tool assembly. Its function is to plug the bypass port of the Y-Tool when producing the well with the ESP. When production is initiated by starting up the ESP, the blanking plug prevents the recirculation of produced fluid from the ESP back down the bypass tubing. Isolation tool. Here we see the isolation tool, which is deployed and retrieved using standard Otis GS type running tools. It is designed to straddle and seal in both the bypass nipple and top nipple seal bores. This isolates the ESP from the tubing. It is typically utilized for bullheading the well for natural flow or dual ESP applications. Here we see bullheading fluids being pumped down the bypass tubing into the well. During production, the tool is locked in the top nipple, preventing the isolation tool from being pumped out of the seated position. Here we see the locking dogs engaged in the top nipple locking profile. Wireline logging plug. The wireline logging plug is used to facilitate production logging. Here we see the plug located in the production tubing, above the Y-Tool assembly. In this scenario, we have a PLT string located below the plug. Above the plug we have a wireline hammer, which will be used to hammer the plug fully into the bypass nipple, ensuring the seals are properly seated. In a real-world situation, the distance between the hammer and PLT string could be several thousand feet. For the purpose of the animation, this distance has been shortened to provide clarity. The wireline logging plug and PLT string is run in the hole until the plug lands on the bypass nipple within the Y-Tool. Once the plug lands in the bypass nipple, the PLT string will continue to run in hole until the hammer lands on the plug, at which point the PLT string is at logging depth. To seat the plug fully against the no-go shoulder, pick up on the tool string and release to impact the wireline hammer against the plug. Once the wireline plug is in place and the PLT is at target depth, the ESP can be started. The wireline logging plug prevents produced fluid from the ESP production, recirculating down the bypass tubing while simultaneously facilitating manipulation of the PLT string. 
Differential pressure holds the logging plug in place, while the logging string is pulled out of hole along the logging interval. The wireline logging plug has a spring-loaded equalizing feature that allows pressure across the plug to be equalized when in contact with the tool string, allowing easy retrieval of the plug. This also allows the tool string to be run again, without having to pull the surface to redress shear pins, should the tool string be prematurely or accidentally pulled back into the bypass tubing, unseating the plug. Wireline Logging Plug with Tool Catcher An optional tool catcher can be used along with the wireline logging plug. Should the wireline logging plug become stuck during the retrieval operation, the tool catcher allows the wire to be deliberately broken without losing the PLT string in the hole. Here we see the fishneck of the PLT string latching into the tool catcher. With the plug equalized but remaining stuck in the nipple, the weak point in the wire, above the PLT, is deliberately broken to allow fishing with a heavier wire. Spring-loaded fingers, within the latch mechanism, ensure that the PLT string is firmly secured. The tool catcher retains the PLT string, preventing a potential loss in hole, or costly fishing operation. This allows the logging plug and PLT, to be fished on a separate trip, with a stronger wire. Coil Tubing Plug The coil tubing plug is primarily used on production logging runs, clean-out operations, and as a means of running downhole samplers below the ESPs on horizontal reservoir sections. Here we see the coil tubing plug, being run down the production tubing, into the bypass nipple within the Y-tool assembly. It is used as a means of sealing between the bypass nipple, and the coil tubing outside diameter. The coil tubing plug releases an internal sleeve once the plug is fully seated in the bypass nipple. This allows the coil to pass through the logging plug and through the bypass tubing into the reservoir below the ESP. Upon ESP startup, the coil tubing plug maintains a dynamic seal between the bypass nipple and coil tubing OD, facilitating manipulation of the coil tubing string during production. The positive locking mechanism within the coil tubing plug prevents it from unseating during upward manipulation of the coil tubing. When the coil operations are complete, the internal sleeve above the tool string enters the coil tubing plug, allowing the plug to be unseated without any shearing or excessive over pull. Carbon Rod Logging Plug and Self-Seating Wireline Logging Plug Used for deviated wells, the Carbon Rod Logging Plug and Self-Seating Wireline Logging Plug are similar in design, with the only difference being the sealing mechanism on the cable or rod. They are both set in the bypass nipple, to prevent recirculation upon startup of the ESP, while at the same time facilitating manipulation of the tool string below the ESP in the deviated section of well. The carbon rod logging plug is run in the hole until it lands on the bypass nipple within the Y-tool assembly. As the plug lands on the nipple, continued pushing on the carbon rod fully seats the plug. In the case of the self-seating wireline logging plug, it is pulled into the nipple by a wireline tractor located below the PLT. Once fully seated against the no-go, the carbon rod or wireline is released, allowing it to pass through the logging plug. The carbon rod logging plug uses carbon rods to push the PLT to depth, while the self-seating logging plug relies on a tractor to reach the required depth. Once the string is at target depth, the ESP is started and the PLT logs the well while coming out of the hole. The carbon rod logging plug prevents recirculation of fluids back down the hole, while at the same time allowing manipulation of the PLT string. On completion of logging, the ESP is switched off, and the tool string is pulled into the bypass tubing.
Continued pulling on the tool string, contacts the logging plug, which compresses a spring, allowing the tool string to re-latch into the logging plug, equalizing pressure. With the pressure equalized, the plug and PLT tool string can be retrieved to surface. To find out more about our range of Y-Tool plugs and accessories, please contact sales at umsflowwell.com.